Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to show you how to create new categories and manage the existing categories within Press to Shop. We'll give you the whole rundown about the categories menu and how to get around. So check it out. We're going to get into that right now. So what we need to do from our dashboard is come to Catalog, and if we have our catalog, we can have access to the Categories menu. Now, what are categories other than uh, what the definition of the word is? Well, if we take a look on the front end of our store, we can see that we have women is a, is a category. Along with that, tops and t-shirts are also a category. Let's actually check out the categories menu here to see them. So we have women right here. If we click on that, you can see we have tops and dresses. Now, if we look further under tops, we have t-shirts, tops, and blouses. However, if you go back to the store, you can see that under women's uh, tops, we just have t-shirts and blouses. So what happened to tops underneath tops, t-shirts, and blouses? Well, it has this red check mark here, and we've seen this before. In PrestaShop, you have a green check mark or a red X that is basically letting you know if something is enabled or disabled. And what I really love about PrestaShop's interface is that it makes it really obvious what is enabled and what's disabled. There's not a, a no, yes, true, false. It's a big green check or a red X. So let's go ahead and click this, and you can see that the status has been updated. So we clicked the X, let's refresh it. Now you'll notice that tops has been added to our list. And if we were to go under dresses, you would see casual evening and summer. So let's go ahead and do women dresses and casual evening and summer. Now you might be seeing this links up top here, dresses and t-shirts and be wondering how they got into the main navigation. Well, let's explore those categories specifically. If we click on dresses, you can see that it's all women's dresses. Underneath we have the same three categories, casual, evening, and summer. So you can probably guess that this dresses is the same dresses that's under this headline right here. So let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, let's go back one level where we have our dresses category. Now I'm gonna click this and click edit. Now from here we can choose whether that's displayed. We can see the category structure by selecting this folder. You can see that women's, uh, we have tops and dresses are beneath this. So you can really get an idea about what the structure is. So the parent category is women's. If we were to have the parent category, category be home, it would be at the same level as women's. And you might be thinking, well, it, it's sort of at the same level as women's right now. Well, not quite. So let's scroll down. We see we have the description. We see we have this large image, which is the image that's showing up right here. This text and headline is actually showing up on top of the image, which is great for SEO purposes. Uh, you don't often want to have text in an image. That way this text is nice and searchable. Okay, now if we scroll down, you can see we have access to some meta information. You can add some keywords. It's friendly addresses slash dresses, and everybody can visit this. So now a category is going to show up as a sub item under your main category here that's on the root level, but that doesn't simply add it to the main navigation as well. Dresses and t-shirts have actually been added here, especially through the top navigation module. We're gonna go through that module in a video of its own. However, let's add a new category and let's make it a root level category. So let's click add new category up top here. And we're just gonna say men's. Because we have all this women's clothes, let's actually make a men's clothes section. And we can have it be displayed, yes. Now the parent category for this is actually going to be home because we want this to be at the same level as women. Um, and since it says women, I'm gonna change this to just men. Okay, and we can say men's clothing. Now I don't have an image, so I'm just gonna leave that blank and everybody can have access to this. So let's go ahead and click save and see what happens. So we now have men's clothing. It's, it's ready to be displayed and let's refresh our page. As you can see, it's still nothing. So where Press to Shop differs from things like Magento is Press to Shop doesn't automatically add your categories 
to the main navigation, which is good because in Magento that can get really annoying when you have to get in there and, and do some major editing or create a new category simply to add something to the navigation. With PrestaShop, it keeps the navigation separate from your categories. So how do we get to our new category? Well, since we named it men, and you can see we have uh, the URL is three hyphen women and eight hyphen dresses, five hyphen t-shirts. Well, men is actually the 12th category, so we can guess that the men's uh, catalog category is going to be in 12 hyphen men. So we can say 12 hyphen men and hit enter. Now we have arrived at our men's category. We can see that we have men, men's clothing, our description, since there's no image, it just puts it on top of this gray box, which actually looks really nice. And we have another subheading and says there's no products. Let's go and add our HTML5 sticker. Even though it's a sticker and not a t-shirt, let's go ahead and just add that to the men's clothing just so you can see this populate. So again, let's go to catalog and then products. Let's browse to our sticker product. In fact, if you don't wanna spend time looking for it, you can search for it. But since we don't have that many, it's, it's nice and top on the list here. Well, not the top, but it's on the first page. Now under associations, let's select men as a new category that this will be in. And let's click save. Now when refreshing our men's page, we can see that our sticker is now officially showing up and we have access to all these things like compare, sort by, and all the nice stuff that you'd want on your store page. So this is awesome. We now have our new category in here. You can create subcategories of that and subcategories of that, just like we have with women. So now you can get creating categories and grouping your products into uh, categories that make sense. You can get as granular or as global as you want with this to have a big category of men's, or you can do men's t-shirts, men's, you know, uh, cotton t-shirts or whatever you want. You can categorize your shirts in as many different things as you want. Now, if you notice from the product screen, you can add products to more than one category. So like I said, you can get really granular with it if you want, or you don't have to. So in the next video, we're going to show you how you can actually modify this main navigation menu and add our new category to the menu and see it in action, just like we have women with tops and dresses here. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.